Welcome to the February 2nd, 2016 Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. May I ask that we all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Thank you. May I have roll, roll call of the membership from left to right, please? Rich Lutz. Mike Dolan. John Grant. Edward Mead. Carl S. Moore. Scott Marlowe. Tom Nickel. Tom Panzella. Jim Quish. And I'm Anthony Sutton, and we're joined this evening by City Planner David Sulkis and Board Secretary Phyllis Leggett. Our first item on the agenda this evening is a public hearing relative to 214-224 Seaside Avenue. Um, there's an issue, and it will not be going forward uh, this evening, and I'd ask Mr. Sulkis to uh, please give us some illumination. Yeah, 214-224 uh, Seaside Avenue. Uh, as part of the public hearing process, it has to be advertised uh, by state statute. Uh, it was, but it was incorrectly advertised as stating uh, that it was a duplex uh, uh, complex. So uh, that's basically a defect in the notification. Uh, therefore, uh, we're, uh, we're asking that this item be tabled uh, until the uh, March uh, 1st uh, meeting of the board. Uh, that way, the application can be uh, properly noticed uh, to the public. Thank you, Mr. Sulkis. Uh, what we will do is we will table it until our March 1st, uh, 16 meeting. Uh, is there any objection from uh, Mr. Gordon or Mr. Cody for the applicants? Great. Thank you very much. And I do wish to apologize for anyone we may have inconvenienced by coming out this evening, but I encourage you to stay for the rest of the meeting. Next item on the agenda is our liaison reports. And for this meeting, I don't believe we will have any liaison reports because we haven't uh, finalized the assignments of liaisons. Um, what I will be doing before the next meeting is circulating the list that Phyllis uh, uh, gave me with the commission members, or with the commission and the boards, and uh, then uh, people can indicate uh, additional interest in uh, which board they would like to be the liaison for, and I will make those assignments. Next item on the agenda is the regulation subcommittee that met this evening. Mr. Grant? Uh, we met this evening. We discussed a couple of uh, regulations, uh, and there's uh, nothing at this uh, time to bring to the board. Thank you very much, Mr. Grant. The next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from both the January 5, 2016 meeting and the January 19, 2016 meeting taking them in reverse chronological order. Does anyone uh, have any comment uh, on the January 19th, 2016 minutes? Seeing none, was there a motion to approve the minutes? I'll Mr. Dolan, that. or Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Grant with the motion, Mr. Dolan with the second. Uh, all in favor? The motion passes. Uh, next, uh, does anyone wish to comment upon the minutes for the January 5, 2016 meeting? Seeing no comment, does anyone wish to make a motion to approve? Mr. Dolan and Mr. Grant with the second. All in favor of approval? Next item on the agenda is the chair's report. I have no additional report besides what I mentioned about the liaison report. And last is the staff report. Mr. Sulkis? Well, since we have time, uh, yes, I have a staff report this evening. Um, basically, I have to inform you that there was a Scrivener's error uh, in the board's approval of uh, the CDD2 uh, change of uh, regulation that allowed the uh, storage facility. And the error was in the numbering of what the section uh, would be in our book. So when it came to the board, uh, it came um, as uh, a new section 3.17.2.18. Uh, in fact, the correct number uh, is 3.17.2.20. So I just needed to uh, let you know that this evening. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Selkis. At this point, it doesn't appear we have any additional business. Does anyone wish to make a motion to adjourn? Mr. Mead, is there a second? Mr. Marlowe, all in favor? Aye. And we stand adjourned.